そうか何がどうなっている Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 27 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We just fought Geert and now he's not happy about the outcome. So, at this point, the soldiers still under his command have gotten quite few, and most people in his vicinity are helping survivors or putting out fires. So, he would like to tell anybody who's listening that his plan was perfect. By this time, he should have conquered the castle. But he knows whom to blame. He says everything is Kisnir and the fault of Kisnir and the knights that betrayed him. <laughs> yeah, and we just get to rub it in his face. Avaro tells him that the soldiers are people too. They live in this town. Since their neighbors and friends are in trouble, they couldn't just leave them alone. Gils goes crazy. You there, whomever. What the hell are you doing? Right before you are the enemies that destroyed the town. Don't you want to get revenge on them? <laughs> Give your lives in order to bring advantage to me. The Emperor has no clothes! <laughs> that was the sound of him getting hit by a rock. Thrown by a little girl. <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> you little brat. Do you know whom you raise your sword against? It makes sense in Japanese. It's a figure of speech. But I think it's hilarious. Okay, the girl would like to observe that Fia and them are the ones who have been helping to save people, and the ones who have been getting in the way are Gilsh and his crew. He's gonna try again, and so asks who was it who destroyed the outer wall? If we leave them alone, the damage will increase. So, actually, the people who are making things worse are the knights who aren't helping. Yep, here's another observation that the people who supposedly attack them are actually the ones helping them out now. A knight would like to tell the prince that there isn't any point to fighting any longer. Is he gonna listen? That's the sound of him not agreeing. Uh, again with the invading Reefville and defeating enemies. At this point, very few people are listening to him. <laughs> you, you, all of you. Yeah, it's everybody's fault for yours. Give it up, Prince. No matter how much you scream at this part, nobody's listening to you anymore. So, this was all your plan to sacrifice the people of the town in order to get your hands on the castle, and it's failed. 
まだ世の作戦が失敗したわけではない No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't failed. Denial problem much? No, no. The masked guy. Apparently, it whispers something to him. Rosaline, Shiketo, Hitteirunoka. Rosaline is requesting he withdraw at this point. Abaro to Hitana. Kisama, who poet the Hiroyo. Kono Kutsuzokua canarazu kais. So, he curses out of Faro. Tells him to remember this, and he will definitely repay this humiliation. <laughs> What's a humiliation? You did your reaping and you did your sowing. Using the knights and the people of the town as your pawns, now you've gotten to the point where they won't listen to you anymore. <laughs> All right, he's going to kill Avara. Next time, he's going to cut him into eight pieces. And he storms off in a huff. So, now Kisnira would like to talk to us. Avara, fear. So what's the success of Shikake? It's not enough. The city is all over the city. So she apologizes for her actions up to this point and says that the Komodo Dragon Knights will take the responsibility. Well, Avaro isn't going to make any excuses about hitting the town wall. So he's going to apologize for that first. Yeah, furthermore, it wasn't Kisnir's fault. And she did help us out, starting in the middle. She regrets that her decision came too late. If she had been faster, it, every bit that it would have been better would have been Every bit, the faster she would have done it, the more she could have reduced the casualties. So, now that Gilish has run off, there isn't anybody who wants to fight these guys anymore. Now that the battle is over, the cleanup will be done by the knights. She really is deeply <laughs> sad about these things. All right. But, if she needs help in cleaning up the mess, be sure to come down to the castle and ask. At least let us do that if you need it. <laughs> and she thanks him for the gesture. So, Things are going alright, but the town's a bit of a mess, but there are people thankful to us. So the girl thanks us, and Fia thanks her, and we get a accuracy ring. I believe, I haven't confirmed it very well, but I believe you get that accuracy ring only if you fix all three of those buildings. You can finish the map without fixing them all. And I think if you don't, you don't get that ring. So, in the aftermath. 
Avaro and Fia are standing on the castle, looking at the sky with the two moons floating in it. And just like it's natural, they're holding hands. It's good to finally get a free breath to breathe freely. It turned into quite a confusing spectacle there. Yeah, feels all worn out. She's been running around so long her legs feel like sticks. So, where's Eol and Mikayu? Well, they're out checking the castle for any more soldiers that were left behind. Hmm, even though they must be tired too. Yeah, they said this is... It's because this is their home. Now, Fia takes a deep breath, but even now it seems she's got sadness written in her face and her voice. So, there really are people willing to go to extreme lengths in order to get their hands on this castle. Avaro thinks there aren't that many who would do such a thing to a town in order to do it. He just doesn't understand what Gilsh was thinking. Even though we didn't intend to, we caused a lot of trouble to the town. We scared a lot of people and hurt a lot of people. Yeah, somehow we pulled through, but there's going to be more people who try to paint us as evil in order to get their way. Feels worried that she made the wrong choice in there. <laughs> Not concentrating on the battle, but trying to help other people first. In the worst case scenario, they might have all been killed. What saved us was that we had good luck, maybe? And the bad guys just failed in their objectives. Objectives. But what if it doesn't turn out that way next time? She's thinking that she was mistaken. Or it was a mistake. Maybe she shouldn't head for the God's Haze. Maybe they should just let the country take the castle. You're not wrong. Avar squeezes her hand to reassure her. He doesn't know whether it's right or wrong. And there was some harm done. And there might even might even have been people who died. Even if they did their best to try and help them afterwards, that won't erase their sin. While the impetus was our decision to head north, and we didn't listen to the warnings or orders of the country, she's listening. But, you're not wrong. 
Havaro thinks that it, it was very good of her to make that decision so quickly to set aside the disadvantage it caused for us and go to help those people. So he doesn't want her to regret it. She should believe in her choices. She's listening. But she's squeezing his hand back. So much it hurts almost. And in fact, this didn't happen because they were headed north. He took advantage of the fact they were headed north, but his objective was not to stop us heading north, but to get his hands on the castle. There are people who tell us we can't go to the God's Haze, but we still don't know the reason why we can't enter. And without a good enough reason, we can't just give up. Alright, so that means we need to go properly investigate. Right, we're going to investigate this. There's just too many things we still don't know. But, we're definitely going, not going to give the castle to the country. In any case, they, we don't want it to be used for some horrible purpose. After seeing Prince Gilsh, you understand, right? As a weapon of war? Yeah, most likely. Uh, Faro says this to her pretty straight and she calls him out. Says he's pretty well convinced of this. <laughs> well, Fia thinks well of almost everybody. But, Faro understands that there are other people. Some who see a great power and want it. And they'll use people use other people, take advantage of other people in order to get their hands on it. Among people there are also... Among all of the people there are some people who will hurt other people and call it justice in order to get what they want. And this is called malice. There are many, many people who are good. But the more people you have, the more of the bad kind will come out. Navarro wants to say that he can see this a bit more clearly since he's not a full human. Kind of a roundabout way of saying bad people do bad things to him because they think they can get away with it. Well, that's Avaro talking about a bitter point from his past. And Fia points out that there are lots of good people around him now. Yeah, Fia's right. The non malicious people, oh. Somebody who. Good people will gather around someone who has no malice in them. He's referring to Fia here. After all, it's hard to doubt her. <laughs> Fia thinks she's that he's kind of making fun of her. And it can be interpreted as her being really, really naive. So yeah. But he says he's this is the highest praise he can give her. Fia needs to continue being Fia. And always running around causing a commotion. If she just continues like this, 
We're going to be surrounded by allies. <laughs> if you want proof, she's got him after all. Yeah, she's glad to have him. She's really happy to have him by her side. So, let's hold our heads high and continue forward. Rather than being sad that there will be enemies, we need to work on increasing our, fi our friends. For now, that is a good enough plan. So, we're going to continue to help people and continue north. Well, Navarro says on the way we're probably going to have more things like this happen. Yeah. She is just a little bit sad that we're going to be causing trouble for people. Yeah, she was particularly speaking about our immediate allies. The way she, the way we're going to be going, is going to cause trouble for Avaro and Eel and Mikheu. But Avaro wants to disabuse her of that. We're all helping her for our own reasons. You don't need to worry about the trouble you're causing. So this really reassures Fia. And, well, it'll be good to see her in her high spirits again. <laughs> so, Thea thanks Avaro for believing in him, believing in her. I'd like to point out, Avaro's little finger is really, really short. Okay, moving on. Yeah, of course I believe in you. I'm your apostle, aren't I? So, we continue to the two of them continue looking in the direction of the God's Haze like that. Ah, these people don't get tired of talking. Alright, so, having brought destruction upon the town and it's now our job to fix it because that's what we do. Alright, Fia, grab that thing at your feet and get it to me. Sure, she grabs it, picks it up, throws it at him. <laughs> Jeez, that's dangerous, don't throw it. Well, she's put her, all of her love into that throw, so it's, so it's sure to land in his hand. I see. That's incomprehensible. She sees a boy stumble before her in rough of his knees. He th she thanks her him for helping out and offers to heal him up. Alright, thanks. So this continues. We're working, but the people of the town are also working. So, that's what Fia and Navarro are doing. Io has made food for the people. Yeah, he does the cooking and Mikeu hands it out. So, there's going to be plenty for everyone, so everybody get in line. Yep, these guys are doing emergency food distribution. <laughs> 
some guy says that this is really delicious and it might be better than what he ever had before he lost his house. <laughs> Are you saying it's better that you lost your house? So now they're going to say that Avaro is pretty awesome. Yep, the guy just goes around fixing houses. Hmm. Alright, that's right, Avaro is awesome. He can make anything and he can fix anything. Yeah, you're making him blush. Uh, but anything is a bit too much to say. <laughs> she is just so happy that there's something that we could be use of all, make use of ourselves for here. Yeah, and there's so much left to do. It's good to be working like this. In any case, since we're going to be doing this, Avaro's decided to make these buildings better than they were the first time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's time for us to show off our skills as engineers. Exactly. Even though Avaro's the only engineer. So, continuing with repairs, this also helps Fia out. Connections and things. There you go. And these plans are parts of fixing up the town. The third one isn't fixing up the town, but it's got a scene anyway. So, that was a lot of talking on my part, and now... What we need to do is build those things to continue the plot, but I'm going to call it a day, and I will see you next time, YouTube.